Hey everybody, it's Stevie J from Glove Up or Shut Up at AngryMarks.com and before the UFC weigh-ins take place this afternoon, let's take a little listen to the preview that Peter H. and I did on this week's show for Sun and vs. Hua on Saturday night, the debut of Fox Sports 1 on August 17th, which has now been picked up by DirecTV, Time Warner Cable, Dish, and just about everybody else. So look for that event this Saturday, but for now, here's our preview of that upcoming show. All right, so let's talk about this weekend's show, UFC Fight Night on Fox Sports 1. So uh, this is the big show in Boston we've been talking about for weeks and weeks now. And uh, big main event, Shogun Hua against uh, Chael Sun in the main event. But there's also quite the card here. I mean, let's just start at the bottom and work our way up, Stevie, because there's um, a couple of names on the Facebook, on the Facebook uh, portion that really people need to go out of their way to see. All right, but we we do have a time limit thanks to uh, Kill a Kev, so we may not be able to make predictions on all these. Some of them we'll just talk about and move on. Okay, uh, Ramsey ne- Ramsey Nijem from Ultimate Fighter fame fights James Vick. Court- Cody Donovan fights OV- OSP, and Man- Manny Gambirian fights Cole Miller. Those are all Facebook fights. Wait a minute, you can't say Ovin Saint Pru. I just say OSP. It- it's like George Saint Pierre. If you can say GSP, you can say Ovin Saint Pru. Oven St. Pru, there you go. All right. But those are interesting Facebook fights, though. Yeah, I, I think they'll be worth tuning into, but uh, I just hope the stream works, and that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, Fox Sports 1 prelims. Uh, Diego Brando against Daniel Panetta. Mike Brown against Steven Seiler. Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. And the main event for the prelims, Brad Pickett against Michael McDonald. Wow, that's a slobber knocker in the main event of the prelims. Yeah, the Bantamweights, it's going to be... I mean, three featherweights and a bantamweight fight. I mean, this is really a, for the featherweights, they're really trying to build that featherweight division for the fans. Because this is a Fox Sports show, it's not a pay-per-view. They're really trying to build this at the grassroots level. Yeah, well, they need to get those lighter weight classes on TV as much as possible so that the fans get to know them better and get to uh, appreciate what they have to offer. Jay Lau, <laughs> Jay Luazan against uh, Michael Johnson. Uh, I, I, I like the nickname Jolo better. Jolo? Okay. Jolo against Michael Johnson, which is an interesting opening fight for the main card. Uh, I, who do you have in that one? Well, Jolo seems to get the fight of the night bonus in every other fight that he's in. So I, I predict it's going to be a great fight either way, but I'll go ahead and give the knob to Jolo. I'll even say he gets a submission. Yeah, uh, I, I'll agree with you on that one. I think he'll win for sure. Um Speaking of the ultimate fighter, John Howard fights uh, the last season's uh, finalist, Uriah Hall. Yeah, and speaking of guys with great nicknames, we had the Unicorn Slayer on earlier, and now we got Doomsday fighting Uriah. Yeah, um, I'm I'm not sure if this is going on a limb or not, but I'm going to say Uriah Hall wins this. Do you think he wins by spectacular knockout? Oh, I hope death? so. I hope he does that spin kick knockout, because that would be awesome. Yeah, but Doomsday is a very tough dude. I mean, it's it's not like he's going up there fighting a guy who just fought his way into a season of Ultimate Fighter that may or may not have the credentials. I mean, some of those guys did, some of those guys didn't. You know how that is with Ultimate Fighter. But in this case, uh, Doomsday definitely has the credentials, and he's not called that for no reason. He could knock Uriah out. Well, it'd be a good fight. I mean, this could, on paper, be fight of the night. It could, but uh, I we'll see. I... I, I don't want to count Uriah out, and I know he's got a lot to prove after what happened to him at the tough finale, so I'll, I'll cautiously pick him, but I honestly think Howard may just uh, set him back another step in his career. I will see. Matt Brown fights Mike Pyle. Wow, that's one slapper nogger after another. <laughs> They're just stacking this card with quality fights on paper here, and if that transitions to an excellent fight, all the better. I like Matt Brown, but I would not be surprised if Mike Pyle wins because he's a, a tough as nails fighter, but I'm going to give it to Matt Brown. Yeah, I just think Matt Brown's been on an incredible hot streak of late. I mean, we, we saw what happened when he had that fight with one of the hottest prospects to come out of Canada, and, you know, everybody thought, you, you thought in particular that was going to yeah. be an easy win, and it didn't turn out that way for Jordan Mean. He, he just got run over. He did. He did, and, uh, you know, in that welterweight division i mean it's so stacked i mean if i i mean that's why i got to favor matt brown right now because it's so hard to put together three or four wins in a row in that division and he's done it 
I was thinking the other day when GSP decides to retire, I'm not sure if that will open up the division or not because it's such a tight fit division right now. Mm. Well, honestly, that's one of the reasons I like John Jones in light heavyweight because there, there was for the longest time it, when, when the gates broke, when Chuck Liddell yeah. lost that title, that title bounced around from person to person to person to person because the, the, the dam just burst open and everybody flooded in trying to get a piece of that. And he brought stability to that division. And, and GSP is that for the welterweight division too. So you're probably going to see that title bounce around four or five times whenever he retires. Uriah Faber fights Yuri Alcantara. Oh, that should be a good fight. And I believe, uh, Alcantara is getting this fight after uh, missing a couple of fights that were supposed to be in Brazil, so it's his big comeback chance now. I think he wins. Uh, based on his previous track record, he's very exciting. If he uh, follows the game plan, I think he will too. I just favor, I, I need to be convinced, and right now I'm not. I don't know what he needs to do to convince me that he's on his game again, but I don't know. If he wins this fight, it will, you know, if he wins it, good for him. I think this is what he needs, but I don't think this is the right fight for him right now. If that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm starting to reconsider my Alcantara pick, though, after you said that, because now you're making me think more about it. I mean, <laughs> And then you're going to yell at me on, on Saturday night, you made me change my pick. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. I mean, when, when I say that he's looking to make a comeback here, you know, he had the... Uh, the loss to Hakran Diaz at UFC 147. Then he had the no contest with Pedro Nobre. And, and yeah, he beat Iliard Santos by TKO. And he is 28-4 overall, and that's an outstanding record. And he's beaten some of the top guys, you know, including Ricardo Lamas and Francisco Trinaldo. So I, I, I like Alcantara, but Uriah Faber is Uriah Faber. Yeah, and, California kid. Yeah, and he's looked great in this weight class, you know. And and usually the the knock on Uriah Faber is that, well, at least in his post WEC career, because in WEC this wasn't really a problem for him, but in his post WEC career, he gets all the way to the title fight and comes up short. Mm-hmm. And this isn't a title fight, so Alcantara is two and zero in the states. Right. Uh, Not saying much, but. I mean, Ricardo Lamas and, uh, actually 1-0, because this, uh, this will be a second fight, sorry. Well, I didn't change my pick on Uriah Hall, even though I kind of wanted to, so I'm actually going to bite the bullet and do it here. I like Alcantara, but I think Faber, with that team bang mentality they have now at Team Alpha Nail, with Dwayne Bang Ludwig getting them all to crisp up their striking, I, I think Faber will either rock him or he'll hurt him enough to take him to the ground and, and get that guillotine choke that they love to do. So I'm flipping my pick to Faber. All right. Uh, same main event, and it's a slobber knocker. Travis Brown fights Alistair over him. Yeah, Hoppa Brown and Big Ream. Uh, I'll, I'll, you go ahead, Peter. Who do you think is going to win that? You know, I might get some flack for this. Um, I'm, I'm actually picking over him. And I think this is his fight that he needs to win. If he loses this fight, I, I fear for what happens next. I think he needs to win and win in a big way. His I'm back statement fight. This is Overeem's fight to lose. Yeah, well, uh, so was his last fight and he lost uh, that one. So yeah, I'm still picking Overeem. What about you? I, every, everything about Overeem on paper would favor him. But the problem is that Overeem gets in trouble when fights get into the late rounds, and I think Hoppa Brown can take him in the deep water, so I'm going to actually pick Hoppa Brown. All right. Uh, it's going to be a, an interesting uh, fight, though, because what what do you do? I, I hate to say this, but what happens if Overeem wins the fight and then something happens after the fight, you know what I mean? Let's not even go down that road. If it happens, it happens. Oh, if that happens, I I think Dana White will throw a conniption fit. But uh main event, Shogun Hua, Chael Sonnen, it's uh, going to be a good one. You know, this is a fight that I, I have actually gone back and forth. Like, if you asked me Monday, I would have said Shogun. If you asked me Tuesday, I would have said Sonnen. Um, gun to my head right now, and this is going to be my pick. Um, Jeez, I'm going to go Shogun. And it's by the slimmest of margins, in my opinion. I think if it's a decision between 9 and 28, 
if it's a if it's a submission or a, a knockout, it's going to be the third round. It's going to be a very close fight, in my opinion. So let this be perfectly clear. Chel mm-hmm. Sonnen is everything that he says he is. He's a badass. He's mm-hmm. an American gangster. He's mm-hmm. a great shit talker. And oh yeah, great shit talker. And he is a legitimate world class wrestler. Yes. None of those things that he says is a lie or untrue. The the problem is he's unproven at light heavyweight, and he hasn't even been the top guy at middleweight for a little while now. So I have a hard time believing the hype as much as I like hearing the hype. So I gotta pick Shogun. The thing about Shogun and Chael, if you look at Shogun's record, because I've heard that argument before with Chael not being proven in his last couple of fights, Shogun's win-loss record, the last few fights is ping-pong, win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. So both these fighters need to really, you know, say right. something, you know what I mean? I, I hear you, but I have a response to that. But the the reason I'm picking Shogun is because I think there's more, um, I think, how do I say this? I sound like, a, like, like, uh... Can I say it for you, Peter? I think I know go what ahead. you're going to say. Yeah. In go the ahead. In, in the immortal words of Brock Lesnar, size matters. <laughs> Something like that. I think in this weight division, in this weight class, Shogun wins. You right. know what I mean? He's, size matters. Chael, yes. he needs to go back down. Middleweight. I'm not saying fight Silva, but I mean. You know, Sun needs to go back down in middleweight to to be the fighter he once was. I think he's resting on his laurels. Yes, he took Anderson Silva to the limit, but how long ago was that now? He, right, and his fighter won coast- Ultimate Fighter, but do go back to middleweight. Yeah, you can't keep coasting on the fact that you got six rounds out of Anderson. It's a great story, and people love to hear that story, but at the same time, you didn't beat him either time. So at the end of the day, it's just talk. 